Praise God from whom all blessings flow. And the blessings are truly flowing here this morning with all this red upstairs. Praise God for the Deltas who are here today. And more than anything else, I looked outside and it's just so hard to believe that it's dreary and dark outside because it's so bright in this chamber. And it's bright because we have one of the brightest stars in the Christian community who will be praying for the state of Georgia this morning right here in this Senate chamber. Bishop Dale C. Bronner is the fourth of six sons of the late Mr. Nathaniel Hawthorne Bronner Sr. and Mrs. Robbie Bronner. He began ministry in his local public school as president and founder of the Praise the Lord Club. Bishop Bronner is a graduate, graduate of Morehouse College where he finished in the top 10 in the field of religion. Since that time, he's been the recipient of countless accolades. He became a member of the Martin Luther King Jr. Board of Preachers at Morehouse College in 1999, and in 2001, he earned his Doctor of Ministry degree from Christian Life School of Theology. In 2003, he was consecrated, installed as bishop by the International Communion of Charismatic Churches, which is a network of more than 16,000 churches. He serves on the board of directors and is part owner of Bronner Brothers Manufacturing Company, a multi-million dollar family business owned corporation which has been in the hair care business for over 60 years. And look, you know, <clears throat> he serves on the board of directors and, oh, and currently Bishop Bronner is the founder, senior pastor of Word of Faith Family Worship Cathedral, an interdenominational ministry founded in 1991, thriving with more than 19,000 members. Many regard Bishop Bronner as a leader's leader. Consequently, he is a much sought after conference speaker and leadership trainer whose travels have taken him around the world. He is an accomplished author which with several books to his credit from Get, Get a Grip, Guard Your Gates, A Checkup from the Neck Up, Treasure Your Silent Years, Home Remedies, Pass the Baton, and the list goes on and on. Bishop Bronner is co-author of Planning Your Success 2008. He is also a contributing writer for the books Man, Power, and Failure, The Womb of Success, Bishop Bronner's message reaches millions daily through his international multimedia broadcast. Bishop Bronner resides in Atlanta, really Douglas County in God's country, with his wife, Nina. They are the proud parents of four daughters and one son. Additionally, they are blessed to have two beautiful granddaughters. Bishop Bronner lives with a mission to reach the lost and teach the found. His passion is to know Christ and to make him known as well as to bring maturity to the body of Christ. I give you now Bishop Dale Bronner. He is anointed, appointed, accepted, approved, an awesome man of God. Thank you for being here with us, Bishop Bronner, and I welcome you. Thank you so much to uh, Senator James and the Lieutenant Governor uh, Cagle, to all of you uh, senators, to the Deltas that are in the House. It's a wonderful, wonderful joy just to share with you just a few devo devotional thoughts on this wonderful, glorious day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and in it, I think that we should all rejoice and be exceedingly glad and thankful to him for all of his, his goodness and his mercy that he has given to us. You know, the optimist wakes up in the morning and says, uh, uh, good morning, God. 
the pessimist wakes up in the morning and says, good God, morning. <laughs> Everything is, is really a matter of, of perspective. And uh, I, I didn't come to be long-winded today. In fact, I'm going to be just like a miniskirt, short enough to be interesting, but long enough to cover the subject matter. <laughs> but it is... It, it, it is so wonderful. I, I just want to uh, share a thought from the book of James, uh, chapter 1 and uh, verse 5 and 6 that says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to everyone liberally and without reproach. But let him ask in faith with nothing wavering, for he that wavers is like a wave of the sea that is driven with the wind and tossed. It is a, one of the greatest things that we all need is, is to have wisdom to be able to do what we do. And with the complexities of such a polarized uh, nature in, in our government, in our state, we need uh, incredible wisdom to know how to deal with people from various uh, backgrounds, various belief systems, various work ethics and non-work ethics. But we need a, a, a tremendous amount of wisdom to be able to do what we do with effectiveness. Wisdom is, is, uh, is simply realizing right now the future consequences of your current decisions. It is realizing right now the future consequences of your current decisions. Whenever we have wisdom, it is the wisdom that, that, we, that we employ that gives us skills in successful living. As we approach every complex situation, I, I really pray for God's wisdom to rest upon you because the decisions that, that we make every day are, are not simple and, and easy ones. And I find that we, it seems as though we, we, get, we get old too quick and wise too late. And so we have to make an intentional effort to be able to increase the wisdom of God for our lives in every area, in, in the area of our health. I'm from a business background, and even in our uh, local assembly, we're in the process now of building a $31 million facility to be able to provide some, some positive alternatives, even for individuals in our community to help lower crime that's in the area. We're putting in there a bowling alley, an entire fitness gym, a recording studio, a food court with different outside food vendors, uh, a, a conference center, and, and all of this just to be able to be a beacon light of hope to our community where we are building uh, business incubators and teaching business people. I've incentivized individuals to go into business and to become entrepreneurial by offering a, a $25,000 cash prize to who can come up with the best business plan. And we teach them how to write their business plans so that they can increase the revenues of the state of Georgia and put more people on the, on the payroll instead of welfare rolls. And so this is a part of our heart of what we're doing. And we've just asked God for wisdom to be able to do our part. And we're doing the part that we can do. I pray that God will grace you to be able to do the part that you're able to do with wonderful, wonderful grace and strength and to be able to be a beacon light of hope every place that you go and every place that God gives you influence to be able to lead. So I just want to pray with you before I leave today, if we can all stand and pray. Yes, and my wife is here with us, Dr. Nina Bronner, here standing over here in the, in the blue. My wife of 28 years. And so delighted to have her with us. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we, we look unto you, the author and the finisher of our faith. You said, God, that if we would ask of you wisdom, that you would give us wisdom freely, generously, to be able to crown our hearts with, with righteousness so that we can judge the people righteously, make right decisions. And Father, we thank you for the righteousness that you increase in the heart of these men and women that are entrusted with fiduciary responsibility in leading the state of Georgia. I pray, Father, that you will give them keen insights into the affairs of mankind and let it be, Father, with rectitude so that we can judge righteously, make things that will be positive toward our economic growth in this, in this state and that will be fair and equitable for those who are without. I pray, Father, that you will give them wisdom, Father, to know what to do, to know when to do, to know with whom to do. Give us strategic partnerships. Father, let us know divine timing that we cannot know other than being attached to you. May you continue to give us good leadership and inspire others, God, to be able to lead others in the ways of righteousness. Thank you for the will and the conviction within our hearts to do that which we know is right to do. We look unto you 
to give strength to us and health to us and blessings to us in the state of Georgia. We thank you for your divine protection that you give to our state, even protecting us from any kind of terroristic threats. Thank you, God. We pray for this United States of America in which we live, God. May you turn us back to you, O oh God so that we might be restored and renew us as of the days of old. Restore respect and honor and dignity, God, to our country and to this state, God. We pray in the name of Jesus that your will shall be done and that you will use us as vessels of honor that will set in motion that that will come our legacy in years to come. For what we do becomes our history, but what we set in motion becomes our legacy, God. And we pray that you will bring great legacy out of these men and women who have given their lives to serve you by serving the people of this state. We thank you for it in that glorious, matchless, and majestic name of Jesus. Amen.